What is going on, yo? What is going on? I'm trying something new. So I know it's very typical for the guys to get on and do a reaction video, but me personally, I cannot do the video because I wasn't able to catch the game live. Where I'm at right now, the Wi-Fi is not good at all, and it was just a struggle pulling up the game. So I decided, hold on, bro. Let me just pull up the highlights with y'all. Y'all see my reaction as the game goes on. Now, I know it's not like a full live reaction because you don't get to see, like, the game and it's, like, totality, like, momentum swing. Well, I guess you can, but you know what I mean, bro. Watching highlights is different than watching a full game. Like, it's just a different experience. But I can, you know, give my thoughts and opinions on how it should go. Now, I know nothing about this game. A lot. I, I I know a little bit. I know I saw somebody post that Kyrie and Luca had like 44 uh at the half and the Timberwolves themselves had 40. So I know Luca and Kyrie got off, but hopefully the Timberwolves can pull it off in the second half because I did have them winning this series in seven. That's looking like that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie. But um yeah, we're just gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna hop right into it. I don't know anything. I really don't know the events of the game. Like, I really don't know. So, is, this would be a very interesting one. Maybe not. Maybe it just goes how it went in the first half. It is what it is, though. Um, and it was a great season for you, buddy. Again, y'all could win, but the I doubt that they're going to win the series. And great season, especially at the tail end, especially in the playoffs. Um, definitely put your name in top 10 conversations. I still think that he can be that guy. I think he could be that ex- um, in a league of Wimbenyama and Zion and uh, Giannis. Y'all going to look at me crazy because I threw Zion in there, but Zion is going to be one of them guys. Stop playing with me. But let's get it started, man. Let's get, let's, let's get it pop. I know last game he said he was going to, like, come out and be aggressive. Maybe that wasn't like – maybe that was two games ago, but Cat uh, getting it started. Thing with Cat, let me pause it. Thing with Cat that pisses me off is he's bound to get 80 fouls in the first quarter. Like, have some discipline. And the thing with Cat is, bro, he has all the talent in the world, but it seems like he doesn't assert himself. Like, if you look at a modern big, that is what Cat should be. Like, if we being honest, if we being completely honest, we being serious, Cat, how, how can I say this, bro? When it comes to skill, like when it comes to just having a skill set, I feel like you gotta throw Cat up there with like MB, Jokic. Um, now obviously they're way better than them. Like they're they're way better than them. But when it comes to just skill, like overall shot creation, uh, the way that they're able to put the ball on the floor, Cat has those abilities, but he just doesn't dominate. Like, and you ask yourself why. Now, the thing is, I saw something on Twitter where they said, I wonder why, like, uh, Anthony Edwards and Cat haven't developed a, a pick-and-pop game, and it's been, like, four years. That's true. Now, that relies on uh, that relies on Anthony Edwards' playmaking ability, which is not it's, – it's become better. But a pick-and-pop pick and um, would definitely work, would definitely suit their offense – um, Cat just being overall more aggressive and not making dumb plays. Like, he's just he, – he the way he gets himself in foul trouble is stupid. Like, I remember last game, I forgot who he was guarding. I think it was Luka, and the shot clock was low. Uh, they were at the half-court line. Um, like, damn near – Luka was damn near about to go half uh, back court, and he fouls him. Like, it's just stupid shit like that. Like, bro, lock in. But Cat – Cat is is way better than the way he like tries to portray himself to be, and it's it's super annoying. Like self creation, shooting, he has that. Like he's definitely, I know he likes to claim that he's the best shooting big, and he's definitely up there. Like who who are you thinking of when you're thinking of shooting bigs? Like Dirk, he's definitely a better three point shooter than Dirk. Uh, overall on the perimeter, I feel like he's probably a better shot creator too. Probably not a better like face up in a post, but. I mean, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Um, Cat needs to be gone, though. He definitely showed that he's expendable, especially with Nasri hooping off the bench and just giving him a valuable offensive production off of the off the bench. Move him, get some pieces back, and I don't know. But 
yeah, Cat most definitely, well, not most definitely, he's most likely should be out of here. But we already know Doncic is, is Luca and uh Luca and Kyrie are, are gonna get off. It is what it is. Luke Daniels with a, a miss three. I, I really predict. I thought McDaniels was gonna go off. Like I predicted him to have. Uh, oh, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. Uh, but I thought McDaniels was gonna have a bigger series because I knew that they were like gonna help all of him and um trap and roam off of him, but I guess it's just I don't know. I don't know. He only had a good game like two games ago, I think. I believe. You're already getting it done. Okay, okay. screen. I see they got Lively back. Like, I'm not going. How does that happen? How do you get blocked by Derrick Jones Jr., bro? When you're seven five, like, I don't. That's tough, man. Are you bullying? Be honest, bully. Hopefully that doesn't keep happening. Uh, if it happens, I'm gonna pause. Y'all won't even know. I, I ain't gonna lie, I love Lively. Like, he's, he's just a pro's pro, and he fit, fits with his Mavericks team very, very well. Um, very, he's a very good roller. Um, on defense, his IQ, he's just a he's he's a pro's pro. He's gonna get better with time, but he he's already like fits the Mavericks like Moxie very, very well. Like, they needed his defensive production along with Gafford. That's crazy. 40, 40 to 19 is crazy. I'm not going to lie. That is ridiculous. They was – we haven't seen too many Anthony Edwards highlights, so I'm assuming he was very, very quiet. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at Cat. That's a good take, boy. That's a good take. Oh, that, that clip went on too long. I'm going to do something crazy. Oh, my gosh. He hasn't passed the ball yet either. The ball stuck to him. He, he, he made it work, I guess. Towns, Edwards, Anderson, Reed, we give him go. I wonder, like, that's the one thing that I can't really tell with highlights. Like, who was the main, who was the primary defender? Because sending uh, Jaden McDaniels at Kyrie definitely slowed him down last game. But obviously, like I said, they both have 44 combined uh, in the half, which I don't know who did the bulk of that scoring. It could have been, for all I know, Luca could have had, like, 30 in the first half. I don't know. But it definitely did seem to affect Kyrie last game. So I would assume uh, the the defensive duties were on uh, McDaniels to guard Kyrie. I don't know who was on uh, Luka. Obviously, they didn't do such a great job if he doing what he was doing. But, I mean, it's Luka, so you just got to take what you can get, bro. Up 21. Two minutes to go in the first in the, in the first half. Yeah, so who could be making it? That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, it's looking like this series is over. It's looking like this. Well, that's a great pass. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, a Luka, a Luka and Kyrie ring would be tough. A Luka and, and Kyrie ring would be tough. Come on, Ant. Give me some. It, it sounds like the crowd still like low key kind of in it. Down 30. 
five for 15, 14 points. I go out as bad. It's not that bad because it seems like he's like the only one generating offense. Five for 15 is kind of crazy, but I'll take it. That's a good pull up. That's a good pull up. The crowd is still in it. So, I mean, they could definitely make a comeback. We seeing some some symbols, uh, highlights back to back. That's a big shot, boy. That's a big shot, cat. And that's the plus having lively on the floor at the center. Oh, that's easy. That's nice. Come on, Oz. Look at that lane. That's big jelly. It's big jelly. Like, am I tweaking or like is the crowd still in the 24 point game? One minute left in the third. I ain't go out. A, a comeback is possible. 22 points. The game is not over yet. That's tough. Stop, tripled, and got it. Rookie. Look at it. Yeah, I'm just going to go back. Defense. 26 point lead. That's a good pass, Ant. I ain't gonna lie. Ant is due for shit like that. Like, obviously, he came in the league and he was just like a, a terrible playmaker. And now he's like feasible. Like, there was times during the series where I was like, man, that is a great pass. And, and then he'll do like some dumbass cross court skip pass that's like either too high, not catchable, or it's just like floats in the air and it's easy. It's, it's still like, but. We have to remember that he is 22 years old. I know a lot of people are, are critical of the position that we're putting him in because, you know, he's going to compare it to the likes of Michael Jordan and Dwayne Wade. But you got to realize that he is only 22 years old. So we see um, the way he's able to score, three-level score, great pull-up uh, pull up shooter, a great uh, mid-range scorer. Okay, okay, I thought, I thought something happened with my, my bad. I just paused like that. Um, we know what he can do at the rim. So he's only 22. Obviously, I feel like his playmaking is going to get better. Uh, right now, it's kind of lackluster, but as he, he has the ball in his, and he has to get better. It's not that I predict him to get better like he That's something that you have to do. I believe if you have the ball in your hands that much, you need to be a plus playmaker, especially when you don't have the playmakers on your team. Uh, Michael, uh, I don't know why I'm saying every time I get on recording, I start calling them by like their full government name. Mike Conley uh, is like, I guess, the only identify identifiable playmaker on his team. So, yeah. Playmaking needs to come from somewhere. And if you have the ball that much, yeah, that, that has to be your responsibility. So, I mean, again, I expect him to get better at that. He's only 22 years old. So um, there's no doubt that that will happen or won't happen. I don't know, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, look at look at the Wi-Fi, bro. I'm glad I haven't really seen too much of PJ. PJ, one series wonder, bro. Good shot, Solomon. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This lead looks like it's not going down for real. That's so tough. Yeah, this series is over. He has really played well. He really has it. I just want to talk more about the Kyrie Luka relationship because the way that it you can hold. I feel like this is a, a successful season for Wolves, though, because nobody saw him getting this far. I think everybody, the mock that we did, or um, or like the. That uh, nobody had um, the symbol out of the first round. So seeing that what they've accomplished, my wife, I just again, people are people are gonna be critical of like him because of, I guess the defenses that he's against. That's something that the team was talking about, but I don't. That matters, of course, but again, he's a 20, 20, he, he's a twenty-two year old in his what, third playoff, first one, second time being that X who defeat the team that beat you in the first round, eventual NBA champions. So, I mean, 
it's a lot to hang your hat upon uh, this season. And this is a young team. They can definitely get better uh, behind it. But that wraps up that. Now, since we're here, I can just give my series prediction for the Mavs and the Celtics. Uh, this should be very, very interesting. Now, again, defense. No, I don't. They don't have the defenders to guard Luca. Um, I think they do have. They they do have people to to take Kyrie out the series. Well, not take him out the series, but you can make him a playmaker. Like, uh, was was that was that OKC that Kyrie didn't get off? For real. Or was that the Clippers? I don't remember what series it was. I'm pretty sure it was OKC, though. I'm pretty sure it was OKC. You can definitely you you have the defenders to uh to limit Kyrie. Um, you can throw Drew on him. You can throw Derek White on him. You can honestly put you can honestly put Jalen Brown on. You have a whole bunch of defensive options. I mean, it's the Celtics. Um, the Celtics are a better team, but again, I think. Luca is the better player uh, in this series, but also they have uh, a top ten player on the other side, couple uh, paired with a top fifteen, which the Mavs do too. But again, I feel like you can limit Kyrie plus uh, All Star cast. Um, K- KP is coming back. Um, Drew Holiday, of course. Derek White, I mean, it's it's a lot that they're going to have to deal with. Um, Jason Tatum, realistically, it's looking like he's going to get his first ring. But I would love to see Luka get a ring. Um, but I got the Celtics. I got the Celtics in uh, six. Celtics in six. It is what it is. I want. I, I have the Celtics in six. Like, realistically, that's what I think. But I want the Mavs to get it done in about seven. Or six, but that's not happening. But I appreciate you guys for watching. This is my first time doing reaction. I actually like doing these, um, breaking down the highlights, just watching it the, with the game with y'all. Like y'all get to see how I'm thinking. Obviously, like I said, like it's totally different from just digesting and seeing the game play out in its full form and totality. But it is what it is. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to the podcast, make sure you do that. Uh, follow the TikTok, the Instagram. It should all be in a. Uh, the description below. Uh, y'all, y'all go ahead and do that. Um, appreciate all the support. This is Jay, and I'm out.